Right, now I just thought I'd do a very quick video this time, which uh, this here is a USB cup warmer, uh, which no doubt quite a few of you will get as Christmas presents. They're just nice little miscellaneous things. You plug them in USB. USB is obviously five volts. And this one's got a little switch on the back and two LEDs on the front. And you put your cup on and the idea being it keeps it warm. Now they're, they're not very effective to be honest. The, the plate gets, I wouldn't say hot to the touch, it gets lukewarm when it's in use. So let's have a little look and see what's inside. Now I suspect there's not going to be very much to this. I think this is going to use a Peltier effect, which is also what those little mini fridges and cooling sort of portable cooling devices are. I think I'll need to, yes, there's a screw hidden underneath the feet. And I, th I think that's all it'll be. It'll be a Peltier effect chip. And all that happens is when you apply voltage to the chip, if I remember rightly, it warms up. So it converts power going through it into heat like like most things to be honest so you could use you could use, do all sorts oh now there's an awful lot more electronics to this than I thought actually ah uh, but you, you can just about see the heating elements touching onto the metal surface there just there and there, I suspect. Um, but the, there's more to this than I thought. Obviously, there's the two LEDs and the very tiny thin wires that go back to them. Let's take the circuit board out as well. Let's have it. Ah, yes. So there you can see that's uh, that's thermal paste, thermal in, in, uh, thermal conducting paste. Sorry, on there and ah, oh. <laughs> okay. So when I said that the circuit board looks quite complicated, it looks like this circuit board can do a lot of different things, but in actual fact doesn't use Peltiers or anything clever like that. I'm not sure if the camera can pick up on this, but if you have a close look, all I see is a couple of resistors in there. Yes. That looks like a couple of resistors to me. Actually, if I clean a little bit of the thermal paste off with my finger, Yep, sure enough, we have a couple of resistors. 